I suppose. Uh, they're supposed to go live now. All right, I suppose that's good forward right there. Uh, greetings, Scrabbling fans. Welcome to the Four Post Kingdom. Oh, excuse me, Terry, sorry. Dino Windward presents the Four Post Kingdom, the uh, crowning of the Southwestern Eastern North Championship Tournament. Today we will have numerous grapplers, many fantastic matchups here for you to crown the inaugural. Southwestern Eastern Northern Champion of this sponsored promotion. Of course, I'd like to thank Mr. Winwood. I am your host and commentator for the festivities, Mr. Richard Anderton. Yes, hello, welcome. Whoever just joined us, uh, welcome. We are going to go down to the brackets before we head down to the theater of conflict. So let's uh, let's take a look here. The first combatant, uh, the matchup for today that we will start things off with, uh, David Boy Smith Jr. taking on the King of the Bros, Matt Riddle, followed by Dave Taylor, will face up against legendary grappler Volk Hum. Then some Japanese flavor for Kazunari Murakami, the terrorist of Seihi, takes on Cassius Ono, well uh, now known as Chris Hero. Then we have another king of wrestling, Cesaro, set to take on Daisuke Ikeda. Uh, followed by Josh Barnett versus Michael Modest of the United States. Oof, we have a pervert in the fucking tournament. So therefore, we shall have to reorganize this entire fucking thing because Hiroshi Hase is a piece of shit. So, <laughs> I'm terribly sorry for the language, by the way. I just get very passionate about fucking idiots in this news, so let's go ahead and restart the entire fucking process of booking this tournament. Hello, Macman! Hello. Exactly, he's horseshit. Horseshit Hase is what we will call him from now on. So, uh, let's see here. We will start this tournament. Uh, we shall do regular matches. How's everybody doing other than what I just discussed? If you're just joining us, this is... The South. Shit, it stays like that. Southwestern, Eastern, North. Fuck, there are so many letters. I'm completely perturbed and mismatched by this. Southwestern, Eastern, North Championship Tournament. Let's see if that fits. Well, it does. Alright then. Not 32, but 16 combatants will face off. And then let's see, we want to make this for the title. So we'll scroll down. There it is, the vacant Southwestern Eastern North. Or the Sven. The Sven Championship. Uh, depending what region you are from. The Full Coast Kingdom, the Dojo, and Daichi Muri Muriyama. Excuse me there. Hello, losing Wi Fi. Macmin. Blain it. Good to see you all today. Just want to make sure that we have everything here. Up to par. Yes, we do. Right. So let's begin the selection process once again. Of course, we will be using the grapplers of the Four Post Kingdom. Uh, why not young Owen Hart of the Canadas? Don't know why I made it plural. <laughs> How is everybody doing today? I hope you are fantastic, as you always are. You know what? Norman Smiley, he's going to start things off here <laughs> against Owen Hart. Now we'll do the classic yellow trunks. Followed by David Boy Smith Jr. I mean, do we want to give him the denims? Is he jeans core? Is he blonde? We'll just do the regulars. Alright. Now, we'll be going to the next one here. We'll just do the bros weight. I mean, we all know for the, the white shorts as well. Hello, Robert Lee. That is a wonderful name. Dave Taylor. I mean, if there are specific ones you would like to see in this tournament, please, by all means, suggest. And we shall take it into consideration. Or select it. <laughs> right, Donovan. Oh no, Michael Modest is who we were 
what we're hoping to see. So we'll put him in there against Cesaro. There we are. You just want cheating in this tournament, don't you, Macman? Is that why you're suggesting Muta? Because we know for a fact that he does not stick to the technical aspects of this particular contest. There we go. Dan the B7, he will take on. Ah, Carl Gotch, why not? He's Gotch it all. <laughs> That's quite all right, Mackman. Timothy Thatcher will go against. So who should Timothy Thatcher go against? But however, however, Mackman, that does not mean that we cannot put a specific type of oh, Bob Backlund. Actually, that is a fantastic selection there, a suggestion, which will now be a selection. Let's see here. Where is Bob Backlund? Which Bob Backlund, though? I believe I have two different ones. There is full head of hair Bob Backlund and sort of a crew cut. This is the OP years, I suppose. I mean, they're both good. Honestly, I think we should go for the full head of hair. Oh, older Bob Backlund. You got it. The OP years. How many do we have left? Okay, we have four entries left. I will, however, put... I think I just selected the early 90s Backland. Where is young Kiji? There he is. Do they have the younger one? They have the Space Lone Wolf. They have the IWGP era, they have the I'm growing my hair out, I'm not losing it, and then we have fuck it, I'm old and awesome. Ah, uh, no, young Johnny Saint is not in this yet, but we still have... Hmm. Plenty of spots here, I'll, I will pick young Mudo. Fuck it, era Muto, you got it. <laughs> and you know what? Mudo will take on Johnny Saint. We will go ahead and put Johnny Saint in this tournament against Fuck It All Muto. There we go. We'll do this one. Alright, and then the final combatants of this tournament shall be... I mean, do we want to put a shoot fighter? Well, we did. We, I, I, I did want to see Kazunari Murakami in this tournament, so therefore we will put him in there against. Now, my lovelies, do you want a shoot fighter or do you want a classic grappler, Nagata-san? Nagata-san actually would be a a very proper final entry in this tournament. So let's see. Here. Well, I, do, do, I got to go all, all the way down, don't I? And there we go. Ooh, shooter style. Oh, well, we'll do the kick pads. We'll stick with Blue Justice. All right, there we go. Kazunari Murakami versus Yuji Nagata. Johnny Saint versus Fuck It All Kiji Budo. Bob Backlund versus Timothy Thatcher. Carl Gotch versus Dan the B7. Cesaro versus Michael Modest. Cassius Ono or Chris Hero versus Dave Taylor. Um, Matt Riddle versus Davy Boy Smith Jr. Norman Smiley versus Owen Hart to kick off this tournament. Alright, we should be uh, ready to go here. Entry finished. Hello, Spikey. Of course, if you're just joining us, I am Richard Anderton, your host for this evening. This evening's festivities are the crowning of the Southwestern Eastern Northern Championship. So here we are. Let's go. Uh, very much indeed, Backman. I am looking forward to this contest, much like many of the other ones here in this bracket for the tournament. So let's go make our way down to the fighting pit.
The theater of conflict. Ten minutes rescheduling it because of stuff. <laughs> Fight. Here we go, locking up now. Kick to midsection there by Owen. Blocking the fist attempts there of Norman Smiley. It's the four post kingdom in the empty dojo. A nice uppercuts there. Three of them. A trio of them. While Owen going for the raking to the eyes. Drop down with a shot to the guts. And a clubbering overhand right to the outside goes Owen Hart. Uh, best of luck to you. Oh yes, I am a uh, bit of a, a fan of the gear for Owen around the Nation of Domination era. Many people say, Richard, when you were younger, why did you choose the, the villains to root for? And I said, what is so villainous about wanting to be socially accepted in the Nation of Domination, you backwards thinking trollop? So, yes, danger, uh, to quote Mr. Cal. Legendary <laughs> hip-hop recording artist. And now the shoulder tackles into the guts of Norman Smiley, flowing him down to the to the mat as we go for a strike off now. Right hands uppercuts, Owen and Smiley back and forth. My goodness. Screaming Norman Smiley dropped to the floor. Mm. There's a leg drop by Owen. Let's kick to the mid section. I believe my associate Dino would call that Super Noogies. And Owen kicking the leg out of the leg of Norman Smiley, who of course reverses with a suplex. A snap suplex there, very powerful display there by Owen Hart. Hello Jervis! Shot there by Norman, who hits into the backbreaker, wonderfully executed Santon. And Owen retaliating with one of his own into an interesting submission hold. Referee asking Norman if he wishes to give up. No, he does not. And a falling arm bar. And to the outside goes Norman Smiley. Of course, Owen taking a couple of moments to catch his breath. Off into the corner now. Owen Hart was my favorite Hart. I was a Bret Hart fan, and then when I found out he had a baby brother, superplex off the top there by Owen. Wonderfully executed. Back elbow by Smiley into a drop kick. But yes, as I stated, I was a big Bret Hart fan. Then when I found out he had a baby brother, who was the youngest of the litter, who did many phenomenal, spectacular displays, I never looked back. Even in the feud, I cheered for Owen. A triple European uppercut followed by an elbow to the face. Irish rip reversal now. Norman hitting with the kitchen sink onto Owen. It's a shot to the midsection. Working over the leg. And now a snap suplex there by Owen. As both men get back to their feet after equally catching their breaths. Arm drag takeover. Hooks the leg to check the progress. One, two, no. Well, I mean... Oh, nice cradle roll up there by Owen. One, two, no, not enough. I mean, it is natural to feel terrible about not appreciating him when he was around, but that just means you'll have to appreciate him more looking back at his body of work, especially his work in Japan. Very wonderful matches, especially against Jushin Thunder Liger. Oh, suplex to the outside there by Mr. Smiley. Is the referee silently administering the count? Knife edge chop right to the chest of Owen, lifting him up with an overpowering suplex. As Norman now getting thrown off the ropes, arm drag over there by Owen. There's a pickup now, cradling rolled up there, so a smiley looking a little dazed. Oh, a two count only. Ah, nice knee to the guts there, followed by another senton splash to the back area. Trips out the toes. Uh, I believe it is Macman. If not, he will definitely be adding to it. He's constantly looking for matches for entertainment for all you wonderful people during this quarantine. And speaking of entertainment, another strike up between Owen and Norman. Norman now powering up. Clothesline. But Owen back in with a heel kick. This could be the window of opportunity that Owen needs to, in order to get the pinfall. European uppercut. Triple time. Down goes Owen. 
as he heads up to the top, drops the fist and the body weight. Once again, another one this time with a back elbow. And smashing Owen's face into the turnbuckle as he was rearing back, it's probably for charging. But the three uppercuts find their mark once again. Big elbow drop to the back. And another one. Enziguri. One of the signature moves in Owen's repertoire as he heads up to the top. And a double axe handle. Things are getting a little risque. Wheel kick finds its face. And Owen now seems to be up adjusting his wrist. Letting the fans know that this is his victory. But Norman Smiley with a variation of the big wiggle. Knife. Oh, Mongolian chop. And doing it again. Little fancy footwork. Nice trip out there by Owen. Leg drop to the back of the head. Off into the turnbuckles. Charging elbow smash. And now a suplex. Will Norman get the best of him? Off the ropes. Shoulder check. Drives the elbow. And leg drop. And now Norman charging in. With that running knee strike. There's a pick up. Suplex into the corner. Now twisting Owen, making him land on his back as he heads up one more time, this time with the guts. Check with the elbow drop. Snap suplex into the turnbuckles, there's Owen. Red right hand. German suplex into the turnbuckles, one, two, no! Norman Smiley kicks out before the count of three, and Owen seems to be having him against the ropes if he just goes for the victory. This could definitely be his night. Gives up. And just like that, the momentum has changed back and forth. Owen now hoping to gain this if they don't reach it by the time limit, we have ourselves a draw. Off the ropes. Spinning heel kick once again. And now Owen with an elbow drop of his own. Not too high risk, but definitely impactful. Oh, not as impactful as that DDT. Um Owen now pushed against the top, drop kick, shotgun style to the chest, into the sharpshooter, and Norman Smiley has submitted! 18 minutes, 24 seconds. What a close victory for young Owen Hart. Oh, that's good, Baha Blast. And in a wonderful contest to open up this tournament here, of the Southwestern Eastern North Championship. 18 minutes, 24 seconds with a sharpshooter. Owen Hart has defeated Norman Smiley with a 90% evaluation for those of you at home that follow that. Uh, and thus advancing into the tournament. As we take a look at the brackets here, moving on to the second contest, Owen Hart will face the winner of the next match. Davey Boy Smith Jr. versus Matt Riddle. Let's go. And here we are now, there's a lock-up, Matt's Matt Riddle throwing Smith into the corner. And the shot to the midsection there by Davey. He just seems to be, oh, over-striking against Matt Riddle, the former UFC fighter. He drops the elbow with the knee. Off into the ropes. Oh, a cross chop there. Into the sharpshooter of his own as Davey Boy. Paying tribute. <laughs> Trying to make it an early submission victory for him against Matt Riddle. That just seems to enrage the pro. The shot to the bit back of the head dropped by that knee. A scoop slam to the outside and Riddle's not wearing any shoes. With Davy Boy getting really riled up there. And falls backwards with the German suplex attempt there by Matt Riddle. He's first into the corner no no luck collides now clobbering to the back into the gut wrench deadlift but Davy Boy's back up to his feet there's a clobber against the back and now Riddle with a big senton across and a half dozen suplex folding up the king of the bros 
as it goes for the kick to the midsection now Davy Boy into the corner this could be very dangerous territory but he reverses suplexing Riddle to the outside of the floor and he's going after him there's a scoop slam under there as it's, you see there a secondary ring it would be, oh the lifting knees definitely not in favor of Davy Boy as he's trying to not go into the opposite side of the oh a fisherman's bust into the floor and now David going in, falling forward with that scooping suplex. It means nothing to the baby bulldog. As Riddle now, elbow drops to the small of the back of Davy Boy Jr. German suplex, no, an amateur slam, but a deadlift gut wrench drop under the neck. Davy Boy's back up, missing that kick, and the secondary one drops the elbow under Matt Riddle. Back suplex. And now Riddle giving him one of his own with the German. One, two, no. And now the strike off there. One to the face. One with the overhand as Davy falls first. But Riddle soon leave following. Off the move set. Tilt to well backbreaker and working over the legs with the leg drop of his own. And now David with a powerbomb sit down. One, two. No, a 2.9. High lifting knee. That definitely put him down. Elbow drop to the midsection as Riddle heads up to the top with another one. Secondary. Will he go for the trifecta? No, he will not. God, here comes that tombstone pile driver. But David's back up to his feet. And running power slam shades of his father. But Riddle follows it. Bro to sleep. What a contest! Here's high kick flowing! But Riddle's out of breath, and he caught David on that one! Heads up to the top! Elbow to the sections! Once more! And now, a big bro splash! One, two, th no, a 2.9! They have definitely ate their breakfast! They had the tea! High kick to the face! Off the ropes, no, reversal! As David, high hip toss. And a boot to the face. It's definitely getting hairy in here. Big lariat. As Riddle. Letting the fans watching at home know that the bro is still in high gear back body drop. And David still fighting back. Not making this an easy task for the young Matt Riddle. High angled. Off the ropes he goes. Boot to the face. Ah, oh, Riddle, not resting in those turnbuckles, gets caught in. Sit down, power bomb. One, two, three. Davy Boy Jr. advances in the tournament and flexing those backpacks. What a contest between those two combatants as Matt Riddle taken out with the Bulldog Powerbomb at 11 minutes 14 seconds against Davy Boy Smith Jr. who will now go on to face Owen Hart in the quarterfinals. That's going to be an interesting contest. I cannot wait to see this one. It's family versus family. That always makes for interesting. And now we got Dave Taylor taking on Cassius Ono. Formal, well, formerly Cassius Ono. We, we, we already made the graphic. Sorry about that. But Chris Hero. Big form smash of the Dave. Big Dave. Whoop, ducks the line. And into the octopus stretch like that, ladies and gentlemen. He was able to get Chris Hero into a submission. But not enough to tap him. Yeah. The claw to the back there by Hero, who goes into the rolling clutch. Beautiful black back bridge. The suplex. Ducks the line again. Face. Oh, into those turnbuckles with the kick to the midsection. And a knee lifting. He's already taking. Oh, what an overpowering there by Hero with the mounted forearm strikes. Super kick by Hero. Overhead shot, and now Hero trying to get the power bomb, but no, Dave hits into the back body drop. 
Good looks, thank you. Oh, what a slap! Right to the mush. And Dave wanting to make him pay for that. It's at the reverse chin lock. As hero, DDT. It's a tight clutch around the head for Dave. And Taylor. Oh, d d just side twisting the head of hero. Making him feel the pain. Shoulder tackle, rolling him onto his belly, but now back onto his back. Back body drop by hero. Snapmare takeover. Into those buckles. A hero I thought was going to go for a charging point, but he's smart enough to know that Dave has a lot left in the tank as it's witnessed right here with the striker flooring hero. Knife edge shot, putting him back on the ground. And an axe kick. Big boy sent home. There's that bridge again. Two. Two count only. Off the ropes. Crossbody there by Taylor. One. No, a one count only. Off into the corners. Took a little too long getting there. Raking to the eyes goes Dave Taylor. And a knuckle right between the eyebrows. Hero trying to follow through with a Lucha drop kick. Lucha style. One. No. Yeah. See, that is a very dangerous trio, much like that dangerous toe tap to the head by Hero. Oh, snap and take over there by Dave. He caught him. He caught him thinking. Off into the ropes. Dave looking a little winded. Spinning back elbow. As he lifts up Ono oh with great power. A big slap to the chest. Shotgun to the back of the head. And now just wrenching in the forearm into the temples of Dave Taylor. Scoop and a slam. And there's that stretch once more as you see him hooking the chin of Hero while pulling the arm backwards. Raking to the eyes. Oh, I'd love to see these two get into a chop off. Bridging butterfly suplex. One, two, no, a 2.9. Yes, folks, we have eliminated rope breaks if you have not noticed in this tournament. Power bomb! Just completely planting them into the canvas. The drop of the elbow, and now once again the submission hold applied by Chris Hero. Armbringer working in the shoulders. And then belly to belly. Off into the corner. That's Hero now. Oh, so for the superplex, Davis on the plans. Big splash. One, two, two, two point nine. El oh, that was not safe. That placement of the elbow drop onto the face of Dave Taylor once again by Hero. Into the bridging four-way slam. Super big boy to the back of Dave Taylor. Hooks the leg. One, two, no. And things are definitely starting to pick up here in this tournament as he throws up the doubles. Oh, going for the German. There it is, my hero. One, two, three, again. These gentlemen have managed to escape the three count, but it seems like they are inching closer and closer. DDT by hero. Oh, Michinoku driver. I'm choking on my water. Suplex to the outside goes hero. As we head into the 12th minute of this 20 minute time limit contest. And Hero, collecting himself, getting back into the fire. Goes into those buckles now. Turning him into the Tree of Lawrence. Whoa! Hero now getting the raking. As he brings Dave Taylor to the center of the ring, he wants the whole world to notice him. Make this man to tap out to that submission. If not for the pitting predicament. Drops it again. It cleans the throat. But Dave fires back with a scoop slam. And a bully right onto the head of Hero. Not enough to get him. Oh boy, big power bomb by Hero. Elbow drop to the face. And Dave Taylor is floored down with a big elbow. Hero now just needs to go for one more. No, there's a belly to belly. Into the corner. 
Once again placing Hero upside down, going to work on his midsection, his abdomen, but Hero just flooring him with that elbow and now grinding at the temples once again. Here we go! Hero gets the drop kick and he's down! Oh, pistons to the face of Dave Taylor who fires back with one of his own Snapmare takeover. He's been, I believe, less than five minutes left. German suplex with the bridge. One, two, three. Dave Taylor is eliminated by Chris Hero. And a fantastic battle between Dave Taylor and Chris Hero. 16 minutes, 16 seconds. The bridging German suplex puts away Dave Taylor. Let's make our way to our next contest for Cassius Ono or Chris Hero. <laughs> All engines blaring. He's going to face on the winner of Michael Modest versus Cesaro. Fight. And two bold men in small tights going at it. Mike Modest, though, a little bit more bulkier as he hits a big scoop slam on Cesaro. European uppercut. Kick to the midsection, or the knees, actually. Off into the corner. Cesaro now with a big elbow strike. But again, Mike Modest getting the scoop slam. Into the camel clutches. You see him hook the arms over the legs, pulling back on the chin. Cesaro now trying to shoot in, but Mike Modest power bombing him, getting the strong foot on him. And another big elbow strike there as Mike Modest using his power to his advantage, but there's the amateur style trading into a giant swing, a new legacy special by Cesaro. Now picking up Michael, holding him for that powerful display into the suplex, European uppercut there by Michael. Once again, stretching him out, placing the boot right on side of his neck. Arm drag takeover. Cesaro could make Braden Walker look like Hashimoto. And what a stretch there is, right there by Michael Modest. Uppercut, oh, it's an uppercut off. Who is gonna win this exchange? Modest, still holding strong, Cesaro falls. Late drop across the throat. Powerful scoop slam there by Cesaro. Uppercut, three times down goes Modest. Into another giant swing. He will make a man submit by spinning him a bunch of times. And now throwing Cesaro into the corner, stopping away at him. Into that clutch once more. The Katahajime. That judo lock. Oh, what a display there by Modest. I see you know your judo. <laughs> uppercut down goes Modest. Of course, the speciality of Cesaro is the uppercut. But look at that press slam power by Michael Modest. One, two, two count only. And Cesaro not letting down any of it. Again with the giant swing. He wants to make the brain of Mike Modest spill out of his ears with these many attempts. But now Modest stretching out the almost seven foot Swiss specimen known as Cesaro who hits the overhead belly to belly. And both men gaining their footing shrine by Mike Modest. One, two, no. Belly to belly, it's been a back and forth between these two big buff bold bastards. As that giant swing once again, asking if he wants to give, but I think he is getting closer and closer. Another shrine on the Cesaro. One, two, no, a 2.9. And a big elbow smash there. Cesaro is on wobbly legs. And he overpowers Modest, holding him up, slamming him down. This is for Post Kingdom, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, the Verna Breaker with a bridge. One, two, three. No, Cesaro escapes again.
again! I have not seen anything this shocking! Oh! Since <laughs> Vivian and the young ones drove over the cliff. <laughs> Richards. This kick now shoots in another shrine. This time, grinding Cesaro's spine into dust. One, two. What is keeping these men going? Belly to belly overhead. Now, I've never seen anything like that. And now the neutralizer with the gotch clutch. Yes, that vertebraker with a bridge was quite spectacular too. Not enough. Cesaro has just been kicked out from his own finisher by Michael Modest. Who scoops slams big Cesaro to the outside and now the action is spilling onto the floor more and more. And those triple uppercuts down goes Modest as Cesaro now saying he wants to take up another spin. But Modest now, no, no. Oh, flooring Cesaro with that vertebraker. Pointing at his skull, he's going to try to go for the, the count-out victory. Quite of a bastardy move. Bridge! Whoa! Throwing him over his head! One! Two! Three! No! Cesaro! Kicks out of it once more! And picking up Modest! Holds him up! For all the world to see! Uppercut to plenty! Here they go again! What is going on? Where is the water system that these two are drinking from? And Cesaro just trying to catch his breath. Yeah. It's in another big German suplex there by Michael Modest. And he's back up to his feet, but not all there. Into the center shield. Modest now gets the lift off. End of the press slam. Sharp shooter. This could be the second victory of it. A very, very late in the match move, which means it was that close to a victory. He did not give up. And Cesaro working it over again this time. He is rearing back. Modest trying to escape. Yes, he did. Bob Backslider. One, two. No. <laughs> and Ashvine, one more time. Hooks the leg. One, two. Why are they able to do this? Wrenching the wrist. Mona says he's got an idea. Uppercut though by Cesaro. And he's definitely feeling it now. Picks up. One more time. Scoop slap. A suplex actually. My brain is rack. Uh, You're an okay slam. That was an exploder. Leg drop. These men are giving it their all in this contest. There's a press slam cutter. Cesaro's back to his feet. Elbow strike. Modest still stands. Even after several belly to belly. Why are they still alive? Exploder by Modest. One, two. No, my God. One more time. No, he got reversed. Just a few minutes remains in this matchup. Who is going to get the victory? Cesaro catches him. Gotch clutch neutralizer. Go for the pin. One, two, three. Even after being defeated, once he regained consciousness, Michael Modest kicks out of Cesaro's finisher again. One hundred percent and guaranteed that was an earner right there. Michael Modest giving the fight of his life against Cesaro, who was equally fighting. That clutch face buster, that the, the gotch clutch face buster, the neutralizer. Puts away Michael Modest. Oh boy. And right there, folks, you see it in the next round. Chris Hero will face Cesaro to see who moves on to the semifinals. Woo! All right, folks. Now we got us another classic contest here. Dan the Beast Severed versus Carl Gotch. Let's not waste any more time. This is exciting. <laughs> here we go. 
There's Dan Severn there in the blue boots. What a takeover there by Gotch already! And a clutch there by Severn! We are already out the gates, folks! And they are exchanging! Nice trip out there by Dan the B7 into the spinning leg hold as Gotch escapes just using his other foot. Kick to the midsection and charging it with a three point stance. Open head palm strike lands right onto the beast. Forearm smash now as Seven still trying to kick in the guts but lands the knee and working over the Achilles of Carl Gotch. Forearm smash there as he shoots out, picks in the leg of the beast. Dan Seven who again trips out the leg into the rolling leg lock this time at the opposite. And now Gotch. Working the test of strength, overpowering the beast, tripping him out with his own move. And you see right there, pressing the shin into the collarbone while working over the arm. That just shows you the skill, the experience, the veteran known as Karl Gotch. It's a legend versus legend match. Shoot, German suplex. And now a gut wrench this time, the beast overpowering Karl. And now into the reversed sleeper, or the chin lock actually, that was a sleeper hold. I didn't even notice that Gotch had got the slip. Into the cross arm breaker now. Oh, goes up, tripped up the legs. Stomps away at the head of Carl Gotch. And that just seemed to make him more upset as Dan now going in for the leg lock once more. And now off into the corner as the beast lifts ding knees right into the sternum of Carl Gotch, stomping away at the head. And Gotch now feeding it. No, he gets thrown in by Seven, but still puts him in his place. Kick there. And Gotch definitely getting the legs worked over there by Dan the B7. Into the bow and arrow lock onto Seven as Carl Gotch loses the grip. And now the beast working over the midsection and the Achilles. Bridging float over suplex there by Carl Gotch. As Severn now waiting for the next move. Back elbow there. Stunning Gotch. German suplex hold. One, two, no. Both of them charging like bulls. But the beast won the exchange. Hip headlock take over there by Gotch. And now a placing the knee into the face before sliding it into the collarbone of the beast and Severn. That bow and arrow stretch once again, giving Severn a taste of his own. One, one count only. And don't think Gotch is being desperate. He is making Severn use every bit of energy that he has left in his body. And now into the corner goes Gotch, but he's got the front face lock applied to Dan. Rolls in, bridge one. Two, no, one count only. Oh, being Gotch could be playing possum. There's a back elbow, shoots in. And now into the cross arm breaker onto Dan Seven. Ooh, almost missed that charge there. Back section back body drop. And Dan Seven catching his breath is a sight so rare you'd think a unicorn was shitting a rainbow. And he captures him. He powerbomb Carl Gotch. Gotch trapped the arm. Trying to submit him, he's gonna go for it again. This time with a sit down. Come in. Two cut only. And now breaking him over the knee. These men are tired. And Dan Seven thinks he's got him. Right where he wants him. He's working over the leg once more. Dropping the elbow. Give up. All right, gentlemen, we're going to take a quick commercial break because I have to sing happy birthday real quick. Please try to contain yourselves.
All right, folks, sorry about that. We are back, we are back, we are back. I had to say happy birthday to my sister, who is 11 years old now. Birth Dangerous Alliance, thank you so much. Thank you guys for sticking around. Let's get back to the action! As Gotch now, getting into the Tree of Loins, as Dan the Beast Severin is completely gassed at this point. Oh, picking him up! Power bomb! One, two, no! Gotch escapes! Thank you so much, Dead Cows. And a front clutch there by Dan Severin. She is having a great day. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. And now German Suplex once again holding him. One, two, no! Gotch escapes again! Shoots in on the beast! Into the side hit block. He's choking him as you see the face of the beast turning blue. And he's completely winded! No. All Gotch needs to do is get the German, but the beast got him! Two! two. two. No! Gotch! He's gonna get a backslider! Up. One! Two! two. No! <laughs> I love these pinning exchanges! Keep up! Keep up! Ah, oh, well thank you guys, I appreciate that! Alright, power slam there by the no. beast! And a grounded pound! That's illegal! <laughs> the float over suplex there by Kyle Gotch now. Placing in. Trying to rear back that arm while driving the knee into the solar plexus. But now, power bomb once again! One, two, three! Why is this even possible? Gotch comes from a different time as does Dan Seven. Back elbow. Says no, no, no! <laughs> That's a scary sight! Suplex German style! Back elbow on there by Gotch! Hits into the octopus now, he's got it locked in! Will Dan Severn tap out? No, he will not! Into the cross heel hold! And he's been working the legs of Gotch the entire matchup! To the outside now, as the Beast looking to brutalize Carl Gotch on the floor with the German! But Gotch is back to his feet, and now Seven just choking him! Choking the life out of him! Both combatants get inside the ring. They have less than a few minutes. And it's over! Gotch submits finally! As Dan Seven, the beast, gnawed at his limbs long enough to get to the nerves. That was a tough as nails battle of the black trunks. Fantastic display. The knee breaker, the cross knee bar. Dan Severin taps out Carl Gotch. Battle hunks, that actually could be a good promotion name. <laughs> We'll do it with K1 rules or something like that. And there you have it, folks. Right there, Dan Severin advances in the tournament. And he will take on the winner of the next contest, Timothy Thatcher versus Bob Backland. Hi. Here we go. Ah, Battle of the Blue Trunks. The drop, drop hold there by Thatcher. Shot to the guts there by Bob Backlund, former World Wrestling Federation champion. Of course, Timothy Thatcher, a well-decorated athlete as well. Does not believe in knee pads, which really bothers me. Oh, what a swing over there with that falling armbar. And now, launching Backlund into the turnbuckles, but Backlund goes in with that red, that left hand. Arm drag takeover there to check his progress. I love Backlund. Yep, the duck ass. The duck ass is something that I do even if I'm laying down. What a clutch there by Thatcher! But not even enough to get a one count on old Bob. Come in! The suplex. Ah, oh, thank you, my love. And now, both men circling. Who is going to win as I'm eating cake as I watch this? Mm. Oh, God, that's good. They put it in the fridge. 
Forceful side rush and leg sweep. It certainly is. It's sheet cake. And now back over there by Bob Backlund. Whoa. Thatcher now forcing him down with that Russian leg sweep. There's a lift off. No! Thatcher lands on his feet. Amateur style takedown into the Lama Hisral. One. One count only. Big forceful scoop slam there by Bob Backlund. As he works over the legs of Timothy Thatcher. And now picking him up. Coming over the pile driver. But no! Backlund sent to the outside. Packing. Now fixing the hair as he goes into the bow and arrow lock. What a take over there and look at the stretch that he's locked Backland into. And Backland just trying to get back to his feet but Thatcher keeping in tight control with that bully lock. Butterfly suplex attempt. Backland now gets in with a figure four clutch. No, not enough. Drops the elbow and dead center of the shield. Light drop to the back of the head of Thatcher as Backlund gets the headbutt from Thatcher, who's just being a little more brutal than normal. As you see, he caught the arms just as he crossed over the legs. Drop kick, beautiful arch backwards by Thatcher, who hits the Lamahi Shrell. One, one count only. Elbow strike blocked in as he hits the Fujiwara armbar. And a suplex. Uh, if you are not familiar with Timothy Thatcher's work, I strongly recommend the trilogy of him against one Daniel Maccabee. You can find it, just type in Timothy Thatcher versus Daniel Maccabee, like Togi Maccabee. But he is uh, not Japanese, at least I last time I checked. Is that bully lock once again on the backland? It is a fantastic trilogy of matches, great showmanship, great storytelling, and great grappling. Joe, oh, amateur slam into the corner, into the gut wrench now, down goes Backlund as he rolls off of his neck, and shoulder breaks Thatcher, scraping the boots under the, the face, one, one count only. Suplex to the outside goes Thatcher, and Backlund beckoning him to get back inside to get more. And now the strike to the punch, elbow, punch, who's going to left stand? Down goes Backlund. Into that clutch once again. One, one count only. And now Backlund working over the neck of Thatcher. There's the pickup. And now going for the Canadian backbreaker. And to see the shift in the strength of both combatants there, Backlund now overpowering young Thatcher. Did you hear the thud of the bodies collapsing onto the mats outside of the dojo? And the cross-faced chicken wing applied there, Thatcher screaming in pain but able to escape. Backslider there by Backlund. One, two, no. It's in. What a catch right there. One. One count only. And Backlund has a lot to worry about. Thatcher has many ways of getting into the pin. He trips up the legs of Maha. He's strong. One. And he's going to tire up Backlund eventually. But Backlund is some of the greatest cardio no matter what age he is. One. One count only again. There's a figure four clutch. One. One count only. Backlund. Completely letting Thatcher know that he cannot pin him. And that sit-down cross-face chicken wing, nobody home on the victory scale. The Canadian backbreaker applied once again. Backlund wants to make him tap out. Oh, go behind. The cross-face is locked in. The cross-face is locked in. No. It's a backslide. One, two, no! And
And there's the sit down Come variation. As Thatcher cannot grab the ropes to escape. Fujiwara, that snapped right into place. Speaking of snaps, the snap suplex flooring down Backlund as he rises back to his feet. Like some sort of monster. Pile driver spiking him like a railroad. One, two, no! There's the backslide again. He might be dizzy enough for the three. No! Headbutt just thrusting into the mind of Bob Backlund's Fujiwara applied. There's that backbreaker Canadian style like a torture. Chamber just locked in. And now Backlund being completely fatigued. That's the first time I've ever seen him that way. This tournament is definitely bringing out the best in the best. Shoots it and what a reversal there by Backlund. And now Thatcher with a go-behind. Transitions as Backlund reverses. Now Thatcher with a go-behind and rolls into the cross arm breaker. Will he tap out? Will he tap out? What a clean display! I've never seen an exchange so smoothly since Christmas at my wife's! Up and Adam into the suplex! One! Two! No! At this point they have less than a minute! One! Two! No! Reverse the Fujiwara! Reverse the Fujiwara! 30 seconds remaining! At least I think! I can't remember the time limits right now! I'm too excited! As he's breaking into the knife chops! You only go for the pin! Stop posing, you twat! And now German! No! It's a time limit! Oh! A time limit draw, ladies and gentlemen! A time limit draw! This is the first of any that I have ever seen in a tournament here! Or in anything in Fire Pro related. Wow! 96%! Really? Wow! I think for sure if we would have gotten just a couple of extra seconds, that Thatcher might have won with that suplex variation. Pin, wow! That match was incredible! Let's just drink this in for a couple of seconds. <laughs> that was stupendous. Spectacular display. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's see what let's find out what happens. That was a draw, ladies and gentlemen. And right there, it, wow. I Yep, we gotta go again! There must be a winner! Oh, 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 oh boy! Oh man, this is really turning into something. As Bob Backlund and Timothy Thatcher have to go again for an additional 20 minutes! Wrench in the arm now! I mean, with that couple of seconds right there. Exactly, Wildstar, you ding fucking ding. And now the strike off between these two bastards. <laughs> we should call them the BTB, the Blue Trunk Bastards. Because they went 20 minutes of pure hell back and forth. And now they gotta go for it again. We must have an opponent. There are no buying. There are in, in the four post kingdom. What a headlock take over there. I can do not tire of seeing that. From one Timothy Thatcher. Ah, uh, yeah, actually, it, that that is that is correct. In the broadcast here at the WFWF Netwood. What a maneuver! There's that good power bomb variation there by Bob Backlund. One, no, he's still kicking out. Again with a falling armbar. And now shooting in once again, here they go, with the exchange, as the cross arm goes to Thatcher once again. The bow and arrow locked on. Yeah. And the headbutt flooring down Bob Backlund, rolling through into the sharpshooter, the cloverleaf variation, whatever you want to call it. But Backlund now into the Canadian backbreaker. Exactly, chess match, young Fisher style. 
Ben Kingsley's in the back, just completely saying, don't move until you see it. There's a roll through with that headlock there. As you see, Thatcher locking the fingers and tightening the arms. And Thatcher trying to go in. Oh, the small package roll up. No, no. And now the elbows to the fist once again. These two exchanging. German suplex attempt. No, nope, rolls through with a clutch. Cardiovascular perfection is what these two are defined under. Who's going to get the back suplex? No, oh, an atomic drop. That's a signature backland move. And the headbutt flooring backlit once more into the pitting predicament as Thatcher holds on to the wrists. But it just might be getting Backlund's shoulders off the mat a little easier. As you see right there, look, look at the positioning. Backlund is able to use it to roll off. I strongly believe that that man goes to bed in tied into a knot just to see if he can escape it. And he does every time. As Thatcher collecting himself on the outside, he had till 20, I believe. But it was still too much time. He knows that any second that he spends not trying to attack Bob Backlund is a second that counts against him. As they are now trying to jump for position in the back. And now the Boston Crab applied there by Bob Backlund. Oh, for sure, Larry Zabisco. We tried to contact him, but he was busy. TCB taking care of business. At least that's what his voicemail said. Drop kick missed there by Backlund. He's getting a little frisky. Headlock take over there by Thatcher, who's now wrenching it in high and tight on Backlund. Up, oh, Backlund trying to shoot in. There's another twist there. Thatcher does not get the submission. And if he does enough of those headbutts, I'm sure he will knock out Bob Backlund. As this tournament definitely shaping up. The side Russian leg sweep. As both men catch their breath. Backlund just incredibly down for a couple of seconds and back up school by roll up as he's holding on to the wrists. No. And now the sit down cross face chicken wing. We've seen this apply numerous times on the Thatcher within the first rotation. As we are getting dangerously close to the 20 minute time limit once again. I, I, I don't even know what to say if it goes towards another rematch. There's that rolling clutch once again by Thatcher. Ah, oh, rolls through. Into that stretch once more. I'm sure if Thatcher was able to lock his fingers onto that particular clutch, he could very well get the shoulder blades to touch on the back of Bob Backlund. Rolls through. Into the submission as Backlund gripping the end of the ring. Off into the corner there. Backlund just bumping his face into it. And now just completely bludgeoning the back of Thatcher into the bridge. One, two, no. And the fans are getting more and more rowdy. To see who is going to win this exchange. One, two, no! Back suplex there by Thatcher. As they have less than 16 minutes to go for the second round. Small package roll up. One, two, no! That was close! And now the running bulldog by Backland on the Thatcher. One, two, three, no! A 2.9! As they now have five minutes to decide who moves on to the next round. What an exchange once again. Thatcher with a suplex. One, two, no. And now the cross face applied and locked dead center. He is wrenching in the chin. How is this happening? One, two. No! <laughs> oh my god! Dear god! With less than four minutes left in this contest! Atomic drop by Backland! 
One, two, no! Three minutes remain! Slaps on the chicken wing, it's over! It's over! Bob Backlund has finally submitted Timothy Thatcher, 17 minutes in a second round matchup in the first brackets. Let's get an applause or something on that one, folks. Wow. They almost went another 20. If you think about it, folks, 37 minutes, 5 seconds. Bob Backlund versus Timothy Thatcher in a classic contest divided into two parts. A two-night event in a one-night tournament. Bravo. We got us a fucking tournament now. <laughs> All right, Bob Backlund is going to face Dan Severn. Oh, no. Oh. All right, so we got two more matches in the first brackets left. The next one, Johnny Saint versus Kishimudo. Fuck it all version. Let's go, man. Let's go. Damn, that was incredible. Fight, Fight indeed. Ah. Lock up now, uppercut there by Johnny Saint. Ah. Another one down goes Mudo. And Mudo now picking up Johnny. No, Johnny springs out from underneath with a back body drop. Feeding him the turnbuckles. Snap there, take over there by the former IWGP sure. heavyweight champion. Also an All Japan Triple Crown champion. A cross arm breaker now. Exactly, 0 and 5. Johnny Saint, not the luckiest individual in the round robin fights. But let's see. Oh, nice heel kick there by Muto. Let's see if his luck changes in this. Single elimination ah. tournament. There's some off flipping drop kick there by Muto. Those new knees are definitely ah. doing him justice. Is that arm lock? By Johnny Saint. Dragon screw whip. Signature maneuver there by Kishimudo. Now a drop toe hold. Drop kick to the knee. And a strike ah. off their forearms to uppercuts. Ah. Who's going to win this exchange? Ah. Down goes Muto. As Johnny Saint now working over the, the knees, he wants to see how healthy they are after the transplants. And now working over the abdomen of one Kishimuto who drop kicks the unprotected knees of Johnny Saint. He's ah. with that European uppercut. Get to the bit like a shining wizard by Kichimudo, but he knows that's not enough to take down Johnny Sen as he hits him with a face crusher. Drop to load on to Muto into that bending arm bar. You see Saint's knee or his leg placed against the back of the neck of Kichimudo into the bow and arrow. Ah! European uppercut. And now trapping it into the reverse cross face. There's a pickup. Suplex to the outside goes Johnny Saint. Mudo now following through. Ah! And those strikes of Johnny Saint definitely will put you on the ground. As they crawl back inside at the seven. Drop toe hold. Into that laying full Nelson. Sure. Ooh, Mudo caught him, trying to go for the form, but he landed one of his own. There's that wrist clutch spin. Once again, trying to work ah. over the arms of one Kiji Mudo. But he doesn't need his arms to defeat you. He could hit you with a moonsault press. The Shining Wizard. Here's yeah. that Shining Wizard once again on to Johnny Saint. Mudo's got him on spaghetti legs. Handspring elbow. He has still got it, Mudo. Drop to hold face first into the turnbuckles. Good God. 
And now Saint placing him up on the top. Oh, a dragon screw whip from high elevation! But Mudo's back to his feet! Gets the drop to hold right into those buttons sure. once again. Snaps the arm. Trying to capture Mudo with that inside victory roll. Placing him upside down into the tree of Lawrence. Slapping away at the knees! And now Mudo making him pay for his sins. Figure four leg lock. Referee asking. Johnny Saint does not. And throwing Mudo to the outside. Johnny Saint following through for some violence on the outside. Drops the elbow. And now working over the knee as you hear the stretching of the skin. Yeah. It might be in the future, MSK. I mean, think about it. We still have to get the parts. The parts creator onto the PlayStation version. Yeah. And the Shining Wizard once again. This is the third one on the Johnny Saint. But Mudo is not wanting to put him away. Shoot. Elbow to the back of the head. My goodness. He drops the elbow. And now working to pull the arm backwards on the Keji Mudo. Open hand slap missed there by Johnny Saint. Drops that elbow though. Off into the corner. Placing him up on top once again. He could be going for that dragon screw whip. Yep! Oh, there it is. Ah. The forearm smash to the European uppercut. Ah. Another exchange between ah. these two. Mudo! Drop kick to the chest of Johnny Saint as he heads up. Moonsault press! Up. One! Two! two. No! That hook heel kick got him off of his tail. Ah! Into the dead center. Props him up. No, rolling clutch. That double wrist lock there by Johnny Saint. On Tamuto. You say Tamuto, I say. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not yeah. going to do that. It's stupid. Now picking up the legs there of Johnny Saint. Some of that wrist clutch as these two have less than six minutes into this contest. Give up! Give up! Into that Give cravat up. stretch, I never get tired of seeing that. It is wonderful to see. And what a capture there by Give Johnny up. Saint under the arm of Kijimudo. Will he submit him? No, he will not. The double wrist lock clutch. Once again is the referee asking. Less than five minutes remain in this contest. Drops him under the knee. Mudo getting up. Moonsault press once again. One, two. No, Saint escapes. There it is, wrenching under the arm. Shoo, shoo. Telling him shoo. Drops him down. Oh, the double kisses. But Saint grabs him. Three minutes remaining. He wants him back up to his feet. Indaguri. Ah. European uppercut there by Johnny Saint now as he picks up Mudo. Rolls through with the clutch. One, two, no. Mudo now. God style pile driver. One more time with the moonsault. One, two. Oh my God. The octopus stretched there by Johnny Saint employed on the Mudo! Somebody! Tell these men they don't have to try to outdo the previous contest! Yeah! Off the ropes again! Oh, did the switch around! Saint! No! Gets caught with the head kick once again! One minute remains! Dragon screw whip! Muto! Gets the cravat! Less than 20 seconds remain! These two are gonna have to go in for another round! And now Muno with a figure four leg lock! It's over! At Johnny Saint! Yeah! Yeah! If he would have just hang on. Oh shit! Caveman, that sounds amazing! What'd you cook up? Some Kanyasada? Some carnitas. I'll tell you this. Um, for Dino, he told me about this once during a, a cookout. 
that um what do you call it he uh his brother-in-law he took a a hot dog and corn tortilla and he held it in place with these uh toothpicks put it on the grill and made weenie tacos they are the tits i'll tell you his brother-in-law really makes really good weenie tacos you put a hot dog in there and you, you wrap the tortilla around it and you grill it. It's crunchy. It's delicious. It's simplicity at its best. Yep, 90 minutes, 42 seconds, a 100% evaluation. Johnny Saint is tapped out to the figure four leg lock by one Kishimoto, who is advancing in this tournament. That is a Sergio Ledesma special, the Weenie Taco. All right, here we go, folks. The final first-round matchup. Kasunari Murakami versus Yuji Nagata. Oh, that sounds incredible, Gene. Oh, man, I'm fucking hungry, then. <laughs> All right, folks, here we go. Kasunari Murakami versus Blue Justice. That's right, that's Terrorist of Sai versus the Blue Justice. Let's do this, the final first round. This man will go under, whoever wins this match will go under face Kijimudo. Let's do this! Hi! And he shoots in now. Lifting these up by Blue Justice. There's kicks there, the striking of Blue Justice. Shoots in now. Oh, gets captured there by Nagata. And of course, Murakami, the terrorist of Saihi. Known for his brawling style, he just goes in buckshot approach. So lifting these there by Nagata, but Nagata now, oh my god, just bending the arm backwards of Murakami and again just trying to pop it backwards trips out the leg and now into the cross arm breaker it's red versus blue in this particular contest ladies and gentlemen drops the knee down into the canvas A strike exchange between two they're careful about how they approach it those lifting knees catching the nose as the kick both kicks now, both men trying to get the follow-up, but nobody's having it. Running knee to the face there by Murakami. Log-like kick to the midsection there as he punches the nose of Nagata. Drops the elbow, and now the, the knees. Give up, no luck. And now the strike off there is the kicks of Murakami versus Nagata's elbows. No, Murakami, Murakami now with a rear naked choke on the Nagata. Shoots down, but Nagata captures him into the triangle. Yeah, Nagata is definitely somebody you come to appreciate as the years go on. As a kid, I just did not understand the hype. But as I started paying more attention to the match and the style and everything else, he is a bad mother. And what a shoot in there by Murakami! But no, Nagata making the victory short. Elbow strike as that open hand slap follows him. There's that hip throw there by Murakami. But gets fed the turnbuckles by Nagata, who's now charging in. No, misses the high knee. And the kick as Murakami now. No, misses the his opportunity. One, two. No, not enough. The knee to the midsection. As Blue Justice hits the heel kick on the back of the head of Murakami. Dropping the knee. And Murakami is definitely dizzy deviling. That bully lock, not enough. For it, the straight punch to the throat though. Nagata dropping him with an impaler DDT. And now a German suplex rolling him back onto his neck. Murakami 
with a rear naked choke. Picks up Northern Lights Bomb! Onto Nagata! One! Two! No! Combination of punch and knees! And a running one to the face in unprotected shots! As down goes Nagata! And now the Blue Justice yeah. charging him with that knee! That found its mark! Morakami slid down the corners! Oh, and a disrespectful kick to the face as he rolls through with a cross arm breaker onto Nagata. Lifts up! Spinning Brain Buster! Sweet Chokuraka! Two! No, a 2.9! Another face drop there onto, N onto Murakami. 2.9! Yeah, I would love to see more of his old Japan stuff. I've seen his Noah stuff and his new Japan work. It is incredible. And now the rear naked choke as he body scissors Nagata. Yeah, me too, Jeff. I, I was really looking forward to that when they announced the return of the pure title. That's my favorite stipulation in, in the history of Ring of Honor. As well as some of my favorite matches. Northern Lights bomb once again by Nora Morikami. He needs to stay on top of it. Catch your breath later. Off into the corner. Blue Justice with the running knee. Once again, just smushing Murakami in the corner. Hooks a leg. One, two. Two count only. Oh, explode a suplex into the corner as you hear the grunts of Nagata. One, two. Not enough. And Murakami in a dangerous spot, that heel kick collides with his face. Northern Lights once again, that's the third one that the god has taken. One, two, no! I agree that the um, pure rules. Oh, the Exploder once again. It is a classic feud, all the matches I've been very pleased with. Much like this one, as we head in closer to the just five minutes remaining mark, there's that re rear naked choke. And, oh, he's got it really locked in, and Nagata is fading. No, he escapes. And if he is able to get any type of suplex or slam, German suplex there on the Nagata by Murakami. Less than five minutes remaining. Nagata now trying to take a breather for himself. Elbows to kicks down. Goes Murakami, but he's back up and gives Nagata a kick of his own. Forearm smash. And the combination floors Blue Justice into the ground and pound as a terrorist of Sae. Opening up the ducats. Back elbow down goes Nagata. Into the choke. No, he rolls through with an Achilles hold. It's over. What a pet. What, what was that? Yeah. Just like that, folks, the victory belongs to Yuji Nagata. 16 minutes, 53 seconds, he rolled in. What Murakami thought would be a backward slaughter turned into a roll-through reverse cross knee breaker, 84%. At 16 minutes, 53 seconds, Yuji Nagata advances into the tournament. And here we are at the brackets, folks, the quarterfinals. We'll see who will go to the semis as our first contest. Owen Hart versus Davey Boy Smith Jr. Hi. And now there it is, uncle versus nephew, Good as up. Owen now trying to make him submit. Off into the ropes, shoulder tackle there by Davy Boy, on to Owen. Heads off, whoop, slides underneath, that shows you how quick the crafty veteran Owen Hart can be. What? One. There's a pick up now, Big David, no, nope. gets the double pistons though, as Owen was trying to get the go behind. What? One, no, a one count only. 
And they know not to take it easy. Oh, they definitely know not to take it easy on each other. As Davy Boy Jr. hits that big lariat across Uncle Owen's chest. Of course, the Hart family know that when you are in a contest, whether it be your own blood, directly, or even passed on to generations, you have to give it your all. They didn't earn the reputation they are by being nice, even though he was a sweetheart. Snap suplex. As in now, that elbow off the ropes goes Davey. Stomp it away. And now strike off between big man, little man. Who's going to win this one? I think, oh, Owen wins it. Snoop Corgi, how are ya? Off to the outside goes Davey. Owen following up. DDT spiking him on the floor. He did not even roll through. There's that heel lock once again as he's making his nephew scream in pain. Oh, and he drops him in the unprotected area. Anzaguri. And Owen going, Woo! <laughs> There's that belly to belly there. Nice switch over by Davy Boy Smith Jr. High kick to the face of Uncle Owen. Drops the elbow. Now stopping away at the back. Leg drop to the back of the neck. And a belly to belly once more. I think that would be awesome as well, Wild Stallion. But you never know. Cross body there by Owen. One, two, 2.9. It was close. The television victory. Power bomb, sit down, one, two, three, he got him, Davy boy, took it and overpowered Uncle Owen with that sit down power bomb just out of nowhere. And at six minutes, ten seconds, the bulldog bomb. Catching Uncle Owen Hart by surprise, Davy Boy Smith Jr. Gets the pinfall victory. Oh, shortest match of the tournament so far, Wild. But you got to remember, these gentlemen have been into some fucking brawls in the first round. As you see there, Davy Boy Smith Jr. going into the semis. And he will face the winner of Cesaro versus Chris Hero. Let's take a look. It's an arc up now. Oh, Kiro trying to come out the gates with a kick. Belly to belly overhead by Cesaro. Into the sharpshooter already locking it on to Chris Hero. No, no give. European uppercut. Three times down goes Hero. And he wants to take him for a spin. And look at the power. It, no matter who he has lifted before, Cesaro always leaves us with our jaws on the floor with his incredible display of strength. Charging in, big elbow onto Chris Hero. Woo! Hero with that flash slap. DDT onto Cesaro. DDT once again, rolling him off the top. Elbow to the face. As he lifts off and falls down. Hero goes to the outside. Not a problem for Cesaro, who's now locking in the sharpshooter submission. All right, Gene, you take care. Have a good day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Also, be sure to catch my broadcast with Andrew Big Dog Everett yeah. later tonight, possibly after this tournament. Yeah. Elbow drop now. European yeah. uppercut to the elbow strike of Chris Hero to Cesaro. Yeah. And Cesaro is victorious on the exchange into the giant swing once again. Yeah. Hero now holding yeah. on for some sort of equilibrium. To the outside now goes Cesaro. It's a pickup now, scoop slam Joshi style. Elbow smash there by Hero, who gets caught into the neutralizer by Cesaro. Could this be all? One, two, no. And spiking that elbow into the back of Cesaro, could this be? Not enough is what it is. And now Hero going for the rolling clutch to see if he can out-wrestle his former tag team partner. Elbow smash. 
Belly to belly overhead by Cesaro. That man could literally throw logs over his head all day, take a 15 minute break and come back just like he started. Charging elbow, striking and dizzying Cesaro, who just snaps out of it, grabs a hold of the jersey and lays one in on to Chris Hero, who spikes him on the top of the head with the DDT. Yeah. Rolling elbow, but Cesaro's back up and gives him a straight shoot. Shoots in now, speeding up. There's a clutch. One, two, three. No, Cesaro escapes with the 2.9. And now once again, Ces oh, Hero catches up one again. Two, three. Cesaro got cocky. And Chris Hero knew that Cesaro was going to get the temper and try to outstrengthen him. So he had to outwit him. And so he did. With that pinning predicament, rolling him up for the victory. 91% for 6 minutes and 48 seconds. Chris Hero with that package roll up. On to Cesaro for the victory. Moving on to the semi-finals to face Davey Boy Smith Jr. All right, folks, here we go. This is going to be a fun one. Dan Severn taking on Bob Backlund. Here we go, fight! Backlund in a 37-minute war with Timothy Thatcher. Well, as Severn able to get it done in the first round, but that does not mean it was easier as he put into submission Carl Gotch. There's a fireman's carry takeover into the he that heel lock. That's what got him one of the, closer to the victory. Working over the legs. Takes out the legs now. Backlund back to his feet. Picks up Big Severn into the Canadian backbreaker. It's Thompson, the, the abdomen area, but it did not floor Backlund. However, that kitchen sink definitely did. It's a punch to the guts now. Working over the legs of Dan Severn. Double axe handle there by Backlund. Trying to go for some sort of it. Oh, go for the atomic drop. Double axe handle there by Seven as he heads off. No, Backlund back to his feet. Lifting knee strike, working over the Achilles. Spiking the elbow on the Dan Seven. Seven turned around really quickly. Backlund missing the charge now. As Seven lifts the knees. Into the next snap. The ground and pound commencing! And now, ba oh, Backlund, I thought he was going to go for the Saito suplex. But, up oh, Severn no. just knows exactly where to go as he hits the ground and pound on Backlund once more. And Backlund just trying to separate his eyebrows a couple of <laughs> inches, centimeters, however you mean. few kilometers actually <laughs> suplex now into the corner there by Bob Backlund <laughs> going into pure jittery mode as Dan Severn tries to figure out the next move against Bob Backlund he saw the match everybody was watching that match into that rear naked choke There's a rolling clutch there by Backlund as he pans on down. No, a two count only. Belly to belly suple by Dan Severn. But Backlund kicks him off. Nice shoot in there by Seven who goes into that cross knee breaker. Still no victory. Drops him down now, rolls through with the schoolboy. One, two, two count only. Trips out the leg. Dan now. Trying to shoot in on Backlund. Backlund not having it. Oh, he caught him with that chancery suplex. And both of these individuals have proven, nice shoulder breaker, have proven that they are, can go all day, all night. Two count only. Beautiful German suplex there by Bob Backlund. Suplexing once again, but this time Dan Seven goes to the outside. He put the beast out into the yard. Collecting himself. <laughs> Say yes. And now over the ropes goes Backlund, but now Severn following right behind him. 
Ah, throws him inside, gives him a hand. And just throwing him back outside again. This could be a form of mind games on the part of Dan the Beast Severn. There's a pick up. Power slam. It was deeply tucked. One more. Into the opposite direction. Into the Dragon Sleeper. He is rearing back on the neck of Bob Backlund. But Backlund now placing him on that Canadian backbreaker. Give up. No give up. Authoritative scoop slam there by Backlund. As he picks up seven in the back suplex. One. Two. Two, two count only. Severn being very selective with his steps and movements. Avoids the drop kick by Bob Backlund. Hits the lifting knee though. Oh boy, there it is locked in! Backlund is fading! No! That's the moment where sweat comes in handy. As Severn snaps him with that German suplex into that knee breaker. Backlund is screaming! And now Backlund giving him the 1-4 in Give the up. Canadian backbreaker this Give time. Up. One, two, two, no! And into the corner goes Backlund. This time the, the beast locking it in. It's over. Bob Backlund submitted by Dan the Beast 7. And 78%, 12 minutes, 44 seconds. The Dragon Sleeper is what puts away Bob Backlund. Courtesy of Dan the Beast 7 going into the semi-finals. A can of Coke to him indeed. Thank you, Bob Backlund. Well, you have it, folks. Moving on to the semi-finals, Dan the Beast 7 will face the winner of Kejimuto versus Yuji Nagata. This is a New Japan special right here. Here we go. Fight. Here's the fight now. And Mudo shooting in on the knees of Nagata. Placing him in the figure four leg lock, trying to get an early victory. But when you got legs like Nagata, oh! You're able to do that immediately after the pile driver for the one count on Takeshi Muto. And now those kicks with such precision. Shooting in on the spine of the back area of Keji Muto. Now goes to the abdominal stretch. Off the ropes. No, nobody home. Drop kick to the knee though. That got him. And now spiking. Heading up, Moonsault to the back of Nagata. Rolls through, one, no. So far, Nagata able to get two pinning attempts on Muto with the one. And now spiking him down into the center of the shield. The coat of arms for the four post kingdom. Dragon through whip into the figure four, one again. And a strike up now, elbows to elbows. Nagata, Muto, Nagata floors him with a follow-up kick. And a second one, he wants to make his legs a thing of the past. Yeah. Oh, lifting knee, Muto says, F your legs. Give up. Give up. And that figure four leg lock definitely becoming a deciding factor for Muto in the previous contest. Will that be the case against Nagata? One, two, no. Pulls him into the corner. And now those knee strikes finding their way into the ribcage. As he rears back, his eyes probably rolling into his skull. As he tries to submit Kijimudo. Yeah. Shining Wizard! One, two, no. So far, Muto getting the longest reel. Whoa, Nagata yeah. kicking him into the corner with the knee strike running in. Lifting Face Buster. One. 
two, no! And both men down now, but the Gatter back to his feet. Heads off the ropes, colliding! Muto taking the opportunity, Moonsault! One, two, no way! And Nagata wanting to cut him down with those kicks. Spins him around. Into the corner goes Muto. And now Nagata unloading on him. Things are not looking good for Muto. As Nagata... Able to chop him down like Van Damme with a bamboo tree. That lifting face buster floors them both, but now they're both back to their feet. Muto this time on Dream Street. Elbows the gutter. Shorty Wizard once again. All he has to do is roll over. One, two, no way! And that knee buckling backwards. Muto with a mood salt onto the back of Nagata. Cross arm breaker. It's over! Yeah! And Muto advances, making Yuji Nagata Blue Justice tap out. What a contest, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, and things are definitely boiling down, ladies and gentlemen. All right, folks, here we go. The semi-finals. Davy Boy Smith Jr. versus Chris Hero, followed by Dan the Beast 7 versus Keiji Muto. This is exciting. <laughs> Here we go, folks. Who is going to go to the finals? Hi. Hi. Yeah. There's a lock up. There's that throwing over. Keep up. And those elbow strikes just completely laying into Davy Boy Smith. Hero has got nothing to prove. He's just wanting to show him that he belongs in the finals, that he deserves to be the inaugural <laughs> Northwestern, excuse me, Southwestern Eastern North champion. <laughs> I got blisters on my on my vocals. And Hero just hitting the axe kick. Now working over the legs. Rips it out. Forearm smash. Locks up, drops the elbow. Close line, down goes Hero. Sure. Super kick. Oh, electric sure. chair, face buster this time onto the bottom rope. And now David, flooring him down with that falling forward power slam. Oh, lifting jackhammer, however you want to call it. Yeah. Four way bridge there by Hero, who now will select one, two, two. no, not enough. The Bulldog Bomb, right there on the hero! One, two, two, oh, 2.9! And Davy Boy could be closer to the finals as he goes strike for strike and loses to Hero Hero. Now up the top, Big Boy Super Style sent on. One, two! Spikes that elbow. German Suplex, one, two! 2.9 by Bulldog once again with the power bomb. One, two, 2.9. Bomb oh, smash, piston like elbows. That full way buys him some time. Jumps him down and he's flexing those pecs. 
Belly to belly overhead. Shot to the midsection now as he hits in the sharpshooter. Keep up. Keep up. Oh, I'm smashed it by David. Oh, falling away on that back suplex. Yeah. But Hero with the Michinoku driver. Yeah. He is throwing about Davy Boy Smith Jr. But David making his way up the tower known as Chris Hero. Oh, those yeah. elbow strikes. Let me sell a special two. Not again with that 2.9! Oh, falling! Power bomb! One, two, three! Davy Boy Smith Jr. goes to the finals! Wake up, smell the coffee! All right, folks, Davy Boy Smith Jr. With that bulldog bomb putting away Chris Hero, securing his spot into the finals. Here we go, folks. Dan the B7 versus Kiji Muto. How you doing, Stanimal? Great name. <laughs> Here we go. What a strike there, opening things up for Kijimudo. As both men very careful about where they go. Nice suplex reversal, back style by Dan Severn. Mudo has to be extremely careful against a man like Dan the Beast Severn. And the grounded pound just striking away at the skull. Mudo trying to buckle in those knees. Mudo's already taken out one person with that MMA background. Will he be able to face the former NWA and UFC champion? That man had multiple belts in his prime. Now he just collects heads. He's stomping away. Seven now picking up with the... Whoa! A sit-down powerbomb! Calling out Davy Boy! Will it be answered in the form of the finals? Kijimudo now with a back suplex. Almost a Saito if he'd done a little bit more rotation. Irish whip reversal into the corner. Handspring elbow. Nobody home. He missed it. He took too long. Severin thinking this is his window. Shoots in on Muto. Muto captures him with a cross arm breaker. Forearm smash, drops him with a knee, into that naked choke. Shot to the midsection, goes for the kick, tries to shoot in now. Yeah. It's in, Shining Wizard! Suplex this time into the corner as Dan Severn punishing Kenji Muto. As Kenji Muto rolls through with the victory. One, two, no. Almost escaping into the finals. Stealing a victory. Oh, he caught Severn. Severn thought he was going to get a back, a back blow. Yeah. Shining wizard by Muto. There's that knee. As he gets up closer to that turnbuckle, it's the opportunity to go for the moonsault. But Severin not making it easy. As he hits that dragon Keep sleeper, up. locking it in. This is what got him here in the first place. As does this one for Kiji with Keep the up. leg lock. Up. 
Howdy do, DJ. I'm Richard Anderton. Calling this one Gotch Pile Driver! Figure four leg locked Above. in! Seven! Above. Looking worried! It's a kick to the top of the head now as he picks him up. Face crusher into the corner! Shot to the midsection there by Muto. Muto now standing tall, even though Severin just gave him his full knuckles. Off the ropes, ducks the line, and gets caught! Woo! What a reversal! One, two, two three. three! Muto! What a showman like! Reversal runner! Severin was gonna yeah. go for that beast bomb, but Muto reversed it into a runner. Getting the three count. Wow. Nine minutes, three seconds. The Frankensteiner reversal by Kishimoto secures his spot in the finals as he pins Dan the Beast Seven. Here we go, folks. Davy Boy Smith Jr. takes on Kijimuto to become the inaugural Southwestern Eastern North champion here at 4PK, the 4 Post Kingdom. All right, folks, here we go. These are your finals. Hi. Hi. David now picking up Muto with the greatest of ease, draping him across his knee and then slamming him down, following through with a stomp and a leg drop. But Muto just taking him down with one elbow into the figure four leg lock. And now David falling through, throwing Muto to the outside. This is not good. Muto throwing him into the opposite direction. Shining wizard, down goes David boy. And they did not leave each other's eyesight. Yeah. Another Shining Wizard! Muto now! Waiting on top of He's going to go for the Moonsault. Front drop kick to the back of the head. And David gets the side slam. Stopping away at the beard of Muto. Dropping him across the knee. Slamming him down. Leg drop. What is Davy Boy going to go for next? Charging through. Kick to the face. Key on to the back of the neck. Soul button with a Pele by Muto. Drop kick to the E. Muto can taste it. He can taste the gold as does Davy Boy. Leg drop across the chest. Ooh, he just deflected the drop kick attempt of Muto, who tries to go for the pile, the pile driver. But Davy Boy, oh, they want to strike off. Muto initiated it. Who is going to finish it? Muto left standing. One, two, no! Exactly, now the sharpshooter applied to the bum knees of Muto. Davy Boy Smith is gonna win whether he wants to or not. That power slam, two, no! I thought for sure that would have been it. He is bizarre. Muto heading up to the top. Muto press, two, three, no, two point nine! That was picture perfect and still not enough to put away Davy Boy Smith Jr. Face crusher into the PK. And now Davy Boy holding him up. Stolen and fallen. Look at the power. Suplex. Front kick landing Mudo on his back. Oh no, the over the shoulder power slam into the corner. And here comes that. Bomb! One, two, three, no way! Muno kicked out! Face crusher! Shot to the midsection there, Davy Boy still in the fight! Dragon screw whip! Another figure for lane lock pushed into the Davy Boy is screaming in pain! His leg has been worked over by the master! Back up with there, Muto! Again working over the legs of Davy Boy! 
He wants to make this young man tap! Give up! Give up! No, give up! Jockey for position. He tries a lariat attempt! Spiking the elbow to the back of Muto. Front kick to the back of the head! Enzo Gori there by Muto! As he picks up Davy Boy! Davy Boy catches him! Holding him up! Till tea time! Off the rope! Kior Chop! To the outside goes Mu da Davy Boy! Muto now! Cross body springboard to the outside! Wait a minute! He's suggesting a Muda tactics! He doesn't need any of this! Oh no! Bulldog bomb on the outside! Muto now's got the chair! Um, so and the fans booing! <laughs> yeah. Lee strike that standing shining wizard! But Bulldog fights through! And he's flexing away! Picks up! Oh! Rolling back suplex! Folding Muto! Right onto his head! Drops him under the knee! Yeah. Double kisses! Moon Salt! One! Two! No! Drum kick to the day once again, Muto! Heading up to the top! Moon Salt across the back! As he picks up Davy, Davy's still conscious! Off the ropes, drop kick to the knee! Kicks up! Shiny Wizard! One, two, Ah! Base bomb coming in! There it is! One, two, three! New champion! Inaugural champion crowned! Woo! What a finals, ladies and gentlemen! Wow! 100%! 12 minutes, 31 seconds. Keiji Muto caught with a bulldog bomb by Davy Boy Smith Jr. Wow. That, that's gonna, that gets an applause right there. Exactly, let's get the fireworks here for the crowning of our inaugural Southwestern Eastern North champion. Davy Boy Smith Jr. Wind chimes and all new champion crowned. Let's get the name into the record books. Davy Boy <laughs> Smith Jr. There you have it, folks. Your champion, Davy Boy Smith Jr. In the history books. The Southwestern Eastern North champion. What a tournament, ladies and gentlemen. All right, then. Thank you so much for joining me here at Four Post Kingdom. One of many broadcasts to come. One of the subdivisions of WFWF and the wonderful Dino Winwood. Thank you. Cheers to you, mate for giving us this time, this opportunity to prove to all of you that pure grappling is also a form of entertainment, great entertainment. I want to thank all of you for joining us. If you raided, I appreciate it. I did see that I'm never on the computer. I'm strictly on the console. Thank you all so much for joining us. Dino will be back later today, probably in a couple of hours, with the big dog, Andrew Everett, for, their, for his Fire Pro Universe. But I thank you all very much. Much love to you all. Um, again, folks, uh, practice your, your social distancing. Wash your hands. Wash everything. Uh, only go out for essentials. Be safe out there. I will see you next time. I love you all very much. Until then, this is Richard Anderton saying cheers to you and OU818.